Good evening. I'm Rose Quo, the Executive Director of the Film Society of Lincoln Center, and welcome to tonight, the uh, Making Waves, the new Romanian cinema. We're very excited to be hosting this. Uh, my own journey with uh, Romanian cinema was uh, started about 25 years ago, and uh, it, was my, it was the first Romanian festival that I attended, the first film curated by none other than Richard Pena in Chicago, and the film was Change, Change Justice, so it's a bit of symmetry to come full circle and be able to welcome you here tonight. Uh, if you've been reading the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal, you'll know that the uh, journey here has been taking some, a little bit of work. Uh, we want to, I really want to thank uh, the people who've been working with us, especially Karina Chuteau, Juan Radu, and Mikai Kirilov. And uh, tonight I'm really pleased and honored to welcome uh, our partner in this from the uh, Romanian Film Initiative, Karina, Kar um, uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Rose, and uh, I'm, I'm really, uh, we are all very excited, and I'm, I'm sorry, I'm very emotional, usually I f speak freely, but this time I will use this small paper to read uh, things that I don't want to forget. I'll invite immediately, uh, together with me here, uh, both uh, my co colleagues and friends, Juan Aradu and Mihai Kirilov, the co-founders of the Romanian Film Initiative, who made this festival possible, together with Scott Foundas, and uh, Robert Kohler, who are members of the board of the Making Waves Festival. Please welcome them. So as you probably uh, understood, if you read a little bit our brochure of, uh, or, or the articles in the journals, the Romanian Film Initiatives has this uh, aim today to be an independent body helping Romanian and American um, uh, cinema meet and follow up on a certain number of initiatives that we have developed in this group together with Juan Aradu and Mihai Kirilov in the former years. I have to say that this festival um, has had the immense um, uh, honor to work with Scott Foundas along these years and also with Richard Pena. And uh, uh, Scott will introduce to you a little bit uh, the, the follow-up of this for the, for the coming years in terms of the, of the board. But um, it is my duty now to thank a certain number of organizations and people who, from a very concrete point of view, made Making Waves possible. First, I want to thank painter Adrian Genie. He is a great artist and he was the first one to offer one of his paintings and made an immense financial donation to the Romanian Film Initiative that would made, made possible the incentives of this uh, festival. Second, I want to thank the Trust for Mutual Understanding. Together with uh, another very dear colleague, Jakob Orzos, who is also the curator of the, two, of the panel on um, uh, Hungary uh, during the festival, and who is here uh, together with us. He didn't want to come on the scene, even though he was uh, really a critical part of, uh, of uh, organizing uh, Making Waves this year. So, Jakob, where are you? I want people to see you. <laughs> right. Uh, and Jakob is today the, the, the director of the Pen World Voices uh, Festival, and he used to be the director of the Hungarian Cultural Center. And unfortunately, both of us uh, came to a situation when we became more independent, and maybe for the better. Uh, a third person I want, so I want to thank the Trust for Mutual Understanding for their immense support and immediate support to the festival. I want to thank producer and director um, uh, Bobby Paunescu, first of all, for the grant he offered to a film critic. The grant is called Alex Leo Sherban, and the film critic already spent uh, two months and a half and a half here in New York uh, because of this generous grant. And Bobby Paunescu also generously participated to the organization of Making Waves. Last but not least, I want to thank the 300 donors from Kickstarters, uh, around 50 of you that are here in the space have donated on Kickstarter. So please, a great thank you to all of you. And uh, I want to thank the Blue Heron Foundation uh, and Stefania Magison for the generous support, moral support, financial support she, offer, she offered to the festival. Stefania is also here and we were very happy to see her. And I want to thank 
uh, especially artists Dan Perzhovsky, Matej Brana, Alexandru Chubotaru, who have offered um, their uh, designs, their graphics in order to do badges, the brochure, and really their generosity was immense. Our personal thanks go to Mona Nicuara, Erin Casper, Adam Brown, and Ana Maria Santu for the realization of the Kickstarters trailer that was amazing and brought us all this money. Very special thanks for Andy Vasluianu for being one of the founders of our association in Romania and Raluca Gold for helping us with our structure here in the States. Also, I want special thanks to offer to Ambassador Simona Miculescu, to Diana Vol Voiculescu, and last but not least, to the former president of the Romanian Cultural Institute, Horia Roman Patapievich, who believed in our craziness, the team's craziness here, seven years ago, and he accepted that we will organize a festival in New York City, a film festival that will work. Now, I ended with all these thank yous, and I will uh, give the floor to Scott Foundas, who is the member of the board of Making Waves, and who's a very dear collaborator, and he will tell us his story with Romanian cinema, and unfortunately, Scott will now leave, and uh, he will tell us how the, the, the board members will take over, will participate in this adventure. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks uh, very much, uh, Karina. And uh, I'll keep my own personal story of Romanian cinema brief because I think, uh, I, think I told it up here last year. And, uh, you know, you can YouTube that for if you weren't here last year. But, uh, I mean, it certainly doesn't go back as far as Rose, Rose's uh, journey, but uh, it, it really was uh, seeing uh, Christy Puyu's The Death of Mr. Lazarescu in Cannes uh, in 2005 that, uh, as for so many people, uh, sort of uh, alerted me to uh, an explosion of new talent coming uh, from the Romanian cinema after a long dormant period. And it wasn't long after that that I traveled to Bucharest for the first time uh, to interview Christy Puyu and quickly um, realized there was a lot more going on there and became very curious about not just the new wave of Romanian filmmakers, but the history of uh, Romanian cinema as well, which is something that this festival continues to put forth, both a uh, uh, presentation of the latest new work, but also a chance to see classic films in restored prints with new subtitles, uh, which has very much been a mission of, of this festival since its inception. Um, it was uh, just about six months ago that uh, Karina and Juana and Mihai came to us and told us what was happening um, in the government in Romania and how it was going to impact the Cultural Institute and their plans to take the festival independent and create what is now the Romanian Film Initiative. And we certainly didn't hesitate for a moment uh, to say, yes, uh, we're on board uh, to do the festival again with you in this new capacity. And it's just uh, remarkable, uh, really, to see how quickly they were able to mobilize everything to pull off the festival basically just as it's always been, uh, albeit without the state support that it's had in the past. And um, of course, none of that would, re would mean much if there weren't so many remarkable films to show. Um, one of the interesting things about becoming involved in the world of Romanian film in the last few years has been participating in a number of discussions both here and in Romania with other critics and programmers and festival directors about the future of Romanian cinema and is the new wave just a momentary uh, fixation of the world and, and will people be as interested in Romanian cinema in the years to come? And I think when you look at this year's program, um, it's ample evidence that there is another new generation of filmmakers coming up behind the ones that we've come to know in the last few years that is just as ferociously talented and whose names will soon become as familiar as those of Christy Puyu and Christian Munju and Corneliu Poromboyu. Uh, so it's wonderful to be able to introduce them uh, to the American audience here at the uh, Romanian Film Festival in New York. And uh, without further ado, I now want to turn the stage over to uh, my uh, former colleague when I was a critic at Variety and my new colleague here at the Film Society, our newly appointed uh, director of year-round programming, Robert Kohler. Thanks, Scott. Uh, well, it's great to see uh, everybody here tonight, uh, chilly night, uh, in the city, uh, you're 
not in any better place uh, to start off uh, what it, we think is going to be a very exciting week, uh, surveying uh, the latest of uh, what Romanian cinema is offering. Um, it's uh, a cinema that, uh, as, as you can see uh, from both Rose's and Scott's comments, that the Film Society has been uh, deeply interested in, in and of itself. Uh, and we're very lucky, lucky uh, in New York to have the kind of energy from the Romanian cultural side and those who work in Romania. And it's important to know that the folks here, they produce their own festival, major festival in Romania, the Transylvania Film Festival, uh, which Mihai, who I'm about to introduce, uh, uh, heads up. And so in, in a very real way, New York is getting um, a, a, you know, a very close facsimile of what uh, they see in Romania uh, as new cinema. Uh, so uh, uh, that's important to know. I think another important thing to pay attention to this week, one of the dominant qualities of Romanian cinema that has really allowed it, I think, to rise above many other <coughs> national cinemas in Europe over the past uh, eight to 10 years is a remarkable fusion of directors with strong signature points of view, and an extraordinary generation of actors. Uh, I know of no other cinema in Europe that consistently film by film, even if the filmmaking might go up or down, the acting is always remarkable, it has a vitality, has a, uh, <clears throat> a, a daring, an audacity, and a strength that uh, is really, I think, a, sets a standard for uh, acting anywhere in cinema, anywhere in the world. Um, the combination of the directing, the cinematic intelligence, and the acting strength, is that uh, is, I think, a dominant quality, and I urge you to pay attention to that uh, during the coming week. Uh, with that, uh, I'd like to uh, bring on to the mic now, Mihai Kirilov, uh, who is a key component of this festival as well as at the Transylvania Film Festival. Thanks, Bob. Uh, usually I speak too much. I try to keep it very, very short tonight. So I won't recommend the film tonight uh, of Snails and Men made by my good friend and partner in, uh, in, uh, in Cluj, Tudor Giorgio. Uh, you'll see, uh, okay, because I'm a little part of it, you'll see that in the movie, uh, but also because it's a full house, so it no longer needs uh, recommendation. What? Have to look at MVP. You have to look at MVP. Don't check your mobile phones because it's just one second, so you're, you might miss me. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, if I'm to highlight uh, very, very briefly and very, very quickly uh, some of the films and events in the festival, uh, I suggest you to explore the classic dimension of the festival this year because we have a great retrospective of a cult Romanian filmmaker called Alexandru Tatos. We'll be showing three of his films in brand new prints. Uh, and also, um, uh, I suggest you to see also from the classical, uh, on the classical side, uh, a film called Stone Wedding, made 40 years ago. Uh, it's actually uh, an anniversary screening. It's a UFO from the 70s, this film. It's a black and white film. J I, w I won't tell you more about the films, I promise, but just go and see it. Uh, then I, uh, I dare you to enter the dark world of uh, filmmaker Radu Jude, uh, who's present this year in the festival with two films, uh, The Dark and Cynical World. Again, I won't say anything of, uh, about the film, just fasten your seatbelts and be there and watch both of them, uh, a film for friends and everybody in our family. Uh, then be, uh, please be active uh, during our, our panels um, in, uh, within the frame of um, uh, the special program Creative Freedom Through Cinema, uh, which is a free program of screenings and panels this Saturday and Sunday. Uh, please be here. And of course, last but not least, uh, again, it doesn't need any recommendation, but we have to mention it because it's the most talk about film of the year. You have the chance to see it here two months prior to its American release. Of course, we're talking about Christian Mungi beyond the hills. I think it's already sold out. I don't know why I still recommend this one, but well, just to have an idea. Thanks. Thank you, Mihai. And now, uh, before the screening, I want to invite on the scene also one of the 
godfathers of this festival. I don't know if he likes this title, but uh, this is what he is, in fact. Tudor Juju, the president of the Transylvania International F Film Festival, a long time standing partner, someone that we quarrel a lot with, Mihai and myself, both for different reasons, and who is also the director of the film that you're going to see this e evening, a very talented actor that unfortunately for him is also a very talented manager and administrator, Tudor Juju. Hello, thanks for coming. Uh, I don't want to say too many things because I think it's, it's I don't want to spoil your, your uh, experience and hopefully it won't be not, uh, it, I hope it will be a pleasant one. The film is not too long, so uh, yeah, uh, it will be fine. Um, what to say, it's, it's based on a, on a real story, it happened in 2002 in Romania when uh, the workers from uh, actually the the only 4x4 four four car factory in Romania. They were in a very bad situation. The factory was bankrupt. The factory was about to be sold to like for $300,000 to some weird American investor. And uh, the guys were, were in, a, in a desperate state. So they decided to, the, the union leader came up with this idea of donating their sperm as to make some bucks and to buy themselves the, the, the factory. Nothing has happened. The factory, as I told you, was sold. In a couple of years, the same businessman sold it for 15 or 20 millions of dollars to some different other companies. So actually, it was uh, one of those, of, of, of those, let's say, uh, strange private privatization stories from the wild, wild communist East. And uh, so nothing happened with their, with their uh, idea, but uh, in 2002, one American business magazine, I think it was called Business Magazine 2.0, declared it the seventh most dumbest business idea in the world. So uh, my scriptwriter just found the story and he thought, why don't we make a film about this? And uh, yeah, I will, I will stop here about the film. Uh, uh, we released it in Romania in, uh, uh, in mid-September. It was very, very successful. I think right now we are uh, number one in box office for the Romanian films and also we got I think very good critical reviews back home. The film had did some some international festivals. We got some awards in, in Warsaw and recently in Spain in Valladolid and uh, we are still going from other, I mean to other territories. Uh, as Robert told you about uh, great actors in Romania, I'm very very happy to, to have here uh, two of the actors from the film, and they are great people, great individuals, and great professionals. And I'm very happy to 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 introduce you. And to they are here, and you know, I'm I'm I, I've seen Monica, so Monica Berladano. <laughs> Monica is living in LA, and she already. Uh, had some roles in Romanian films besides doing some work here in America and she her main role up to now I mean before Snails was in Francesca the film directed by Bobby Paunescu who was in Venice and uh, for, for me it was a great uh, op opportunity to meet again after I think more than 10 years working actually on, on this film and uh, I think she's just great and then uh, Andy Vasluiano For for many of us, he's in. He has done uh, many many films. I mean, he's young, not so young, but still young. <laughs> and uh, he did, I think, I don't know, I think 30 or 40 features, many many shorts. He has an extensive experience, and I think he's one of the most solid and and strong actors of his generation. So I'm I'm very I'm very happy that they are here. Unfortunately, uh, one of the other key member of the cast, Dorel Vishan. Uh, like, I don't know, one, one of the legends of Romanian acting cannot be with us. At 75 years old, he's, he's traveling all over the world. He just returned from Peru and he told me that tomorrow he's heading to Vietnam and Cambodia. So uh, <laughs> that's life. Maybe we're going to do the same when it will be his age. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm really wishing to you to have a nice screening and we'll talk after at the, at the party. Thank you.
Thank you, Tudor, and uh, thank you, all of you. I just have a last announcement to make uh, because we do want to continue the Romanian Film Initiative's uh, activities and the festival, and also next year we would like to uh, participate more actively to the Oscar campaign of uh, Romanian cinema. Uh, you can still make donations to the uh, Romanian Film Initiative. We already have a, a donation um, um, button on our, uh, uh, on our site, so enter the site of Film at uh, org and uh, help Romanian cinema uh, develop its relationship with the United States. Enjoy the screening and we look forward to see you at the party.